Decent Reviews by Cam. Today's review, a Dutch oven, and not this one. But this one from Amazon, a company called Ballerini out of Italy. Should you buy it? Let's find out. All right, let's get right to it. No messing around. Let's check the build quality of this Dutch oven. We know they're usually heavy, so I had to go out and weigh it for myself. Well, the scale came in at 10.6 pounds. Unfortunately, I don't think it was meant for weighing Dutch ovens. So we'll look at Amazon and their specs say 12.62 pounds. So it is inaccurate, my bad. Check that, I'm inaccurate again. It's 12.73 pounds. In all honesty, I've never reviewed a Dutch oven. I'm probably not qualified, but from what I can tell, it has great build quality. With the exception of this scratch that it came with. I was upset about it, but I guess things happen in shipping. So what can you do? Okay, getting past the scratch. Wait a minute, there's another one on the left. What the frig? Let's regain our composure. The Dutch oven is still nice. This crema white colorway with the gold bronze handle is such a nice touch. You want to be able to like the looks of your pans when you're cooking with them. And here's a nice overhead shot of this beautiful logo. Centered, strong, brilliant. The capacity of this Dutch oven comes in at a whopping 4.6 quarts. That actually is probably just standard but the lid also has these interesting dot texture on it. I don't know what that's for, but I'm gonna assume it's for a benefit to you. And I assumed correctly, it's a self-basting lid. Here, let's read the description. Self-basting bumps on the lid interior create a rainforest effect, evenly returning juices back onto food for moist, perfectly cooked food with locked in flavor. Now onto the cooking portion or segment of this review, which is likely what you guys came to see. So the first thing that we did with this Dutch oven is made mac and cheese, believe it or not. As we can see here, the pan is boiling water effectively, indicated by the bubbles bubbling. Now a wise friend of mine named Zach recently told me that he seasons his pans, and not with salt and pepper, but with a thin layer of oil, and then bakes it in the oven. This apparently creates some type of protective layer for the pan so the food doesn't stick to the pan. Now I've said pan about 18 times, but the moral of the story is this is a process called polymerization. You can read more about it on Google. Now I say all that to say this, Ballerini in its feature set claims that the pan requires no seasoning. So I still don't know if you can actually season the pan if they tell me the pan requires no seasoning. That'd be a question for Zach or a chef or someone who is highly into cooking. So the mac and cheese cooked very well in this Dutch oven and I have no qualms with it. Now only after some time did the cheese end up sticking when the food got cold and sat there for a little while, but it was easy to clean up in the sink. So we can't complain, no cons so far with that. But you'll see in a minute where it did stick and maybe seasoning should have been required. Now entering the chat, chicken dumplings, which aggressively stuck to the pan. Cleanup wasn't fun. Let's just say I avoided dishes that night. Maybe the pan should have been seasoned. Now let's not be mistaken, I believe this Dutch oven under initial use has been great. We even cooked these beef tenderloins. It seared it really nicely and it was able to be finished off in the oven. Just hear that sizzle. And the last reason I believe this is a great Dutch oven is because it's from Italy and the company formed in 1889. If you formed your company in 1889 and are existing today, you probably have a pretty good product. So therefore, I think you should give it a go. Give it a try. Make sure we cut that last bit about him squatting a Dutch oven. It's complete. Nobody's gonna squat a Dutch oven. It doesn't even make sense. Please cut it. Mark, you're recording? Cut it, cut it! I occasionally like to find dual uses for products. And in this case, this pan is so hefty that you could squat with it and get a good workout in. And if you're saying, hey, that's not enough resistance, I squat more, you can add a sack of potatoes to the pan, put the lid on it, and try again. You'll get better resistance, your quads will get a decent burn, and you'll feel good about yourself. You'll nod yourself in approval and move on to your next task for the day.